It does this. He says, nope. Oh, it does not at that one. We're live. Oh, we're live. We're live, What's everybody. Up, everybody. How's everybody doing? The wolf is out there. What? The wolf, Chromish Brown, a.k.a. The Rust, is out there. Raven Shadows. He has been. What's happening? Jay Jerry's out there. We got Alifa in the comments. <laughs> Spork life. <laughs> Eric Sutherland's out there. How's everybody doing this evening? We're getting some just straight um, eye contact with a little peekage. Apparently, um, Alifa is that guy who likes to just sit in the corner of the room and watch. Not judging. Nope. Get in where you fit in. It's clear, fresh, lasts longer than oh, me. Oh, wait. Wait, my warning's not big enough. You make a pill for that, I hear. They do. <laughs> a few of them. You know what I think about their warning? They can stick it up their ass, because I'm not going to put one up. Ever. They put out a clarification that uh, oh, it isn't I, just I, for products. Oh, I saw, I saw the clarification. I don't give a fuck. Even if I was to start making money off of it, kiss my ass. Find me, motherfuckers. I, I am a product, though. That I can be rented for parties as a fog machine. Nice. <laughs> I worked at a haunted house for a long time as a human fog machine. I understand. I've taken myself freelance since then, but it is a great occupation. Lucrative. Hey, can't complain if it's a lucrative business and getting what you need. Do, Do they pay you it. in layers? With a face like this and a strong vape, I mean, it's kind of a two-for-one package, really. Nobody ever pays me income. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you picked up on that. Somebody didn't. I was going to lose it. <laughs> oh. So for everybody who's out there right now, how's the sound sound for everybody? <laughs> oh, that sounds good to hear. Oh. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Clap. Hello. Hi, stand up 3D. <laughs> Hop to. <laughs> Sounds okay. I did not unmute myself here on. Fuck. You guys could hear me, but they could not. I was muted <laughs> on fucking OBS. Awesome. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the rest of us. Oh, so they had no they had no idea why we were doing the things we were doing. No, not at all. I had myself muted. The rest of you guys were good. Hello. Uh, sounded Hello? good on the screen when I checked it a second ago. It was a little kung fu, but it sounds good. We're a little gassy this evening, but we sound good. Did that sound real? Fairly, fairly real. I was gonna say Well, as long as it's just you, we're all good. What's everybody up to this week? Um, what's everybody's thoughts on this wonderful warning label shit? I like it. I like warning people that I contain nicotine. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a warning and a blessing at the same time. They know I'm properly caffeinated and nicotine up. But they know I'm not going to rip their head off. For some reason, I'm resistant to it. Well, it's good thing none of the products you post have nicotine. I mean, they're all plastic. Well, yeah, I'm not not for that. Just in general, like I think. Well, I know that I know what I I understand it and everything. I just don't get it. All right. Well, here's the thing. He makes them in the same room that he vapes in. So is it kind of like one of those peanut allergy things, uh, where you have to uh, right? It's made in the same room Product as nicotine, so it may contain nicotine. Everything gets an an alcohol bath, basically. More like a well, shower. What about in between the layers? Oh, fuck. I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's looking into it way too far. Yeah, that very well could be the case. However, he does have a valid point. That, that is true. I guess if they want to get ridiculous about it, we should be... A, we should be able to get ridiculous about it too, right? Oh, you know, my biggest issue with it is I want to know why they're demonizing nicotine. 
Because nicotine, we all know, same thing as caffeine. It's just a stimulant. No, no, they're not demonizing the nicotine. It's the flavors they're demonizing. Right. Nicotine is just another pharmaceutical byproduct that they're finding new and different ways to get to the consumers every day. It's those damn flavors that the crafty little bastards are after. That's what we have to look out for. That's the problem these days. Well, and you're very right on that. However, the product warning they want says nicotine specific on it. Why not That's put true. this may contain flavors? That's true. May contain gummy bear. Yeah, because that's true. The, the flavor, the flavors aren't a controlled substance. The nicotine is a controlled substance. That's why there's. Makes that's you, why. Makes you wonder why they haven't um, made caffeine a controlled substance. Then. It's just. It should be. Yeah, really. It's if the. It's the way that. Them. It's the way that it's in. The, it's the intake method. Um, so if I, so I guess since, since it's like the main reason, the, the main way to get nicotine is by smoking cigarettes. And so that they already attacked it there. And so it with, there's no caffeine in cigarettes. If there'd been caffeine there, it'd be a controlled substance also. I mean, if we were, if we were, if we were free basing coffee beans out of a pipe, maybe. Yeah. Please, somebody do that just so I can see what their response is going to be. <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> see, I d don't ruin your radio voice. <laughs> yeah, this could, they, they could go horribly awry, Adam Blarzik, and I would hate to deprive the world of you. Thanks. <laughs> I won't do it, I promise. But it's... The, age res the, the whole age restriction thing is because, quite frankly, they knew it was harmful for a very long time before they ever actually did anything about it. That part, no problem with at all. Guess what? And so, they were protecting the kids. Maybe maybe for once in their, their horrible little lives, the U.S. government actually protected somebody, but... <laughs> mm, it's doubtful. And again, I mean, we are talking about the same people who just um, put out, these are the six ideas that we have for a Space Force logo. Please vote on them, America. America. Space Force! I'm just saying, I did see that. It was pretty ridiculous. <clears throat> and Oh, speaking of ridiculous thing, um, if I offend anybody when I say this here, too fucking bad because I think this is hilarious. Um, I was just scrolling through Facebook before um, I got the show ready and everything this evening. I saw there was two um, libtards that I'm going to call them that had to have been really far leftists. Oh my god. Nothing can hurt me because people are just misjudged and all this. Tried to ride th their bikes through Afghanistan. Bicycles. From one side of Afghanistan to the other. Needless to say, they were murdered. I'm not going to lie. I laughed. Why would they think that, that they could do that and it would be okay? Are they gonna... it, it, The reason behind this is because their philosophy was everybody is good. We just look at them differently because of whatever their race, religion, creed, whatever the fuck their thing is. They were trying to prove a point that everybody is good. I just wanted to let them know um, wherever you are now, you have failed miserably in that point. I would say hopefully you learned a lesson, but you can't even learn from that because now you're dead. But I did think it was kind of funny. Not going to lie. What did they think was going to happen? <laughs> you know, that there's, there's one they were going to make it across unmolested? <sighs> what shape is the earth again? It, it, it's flat. <laughs> like... Like did, like did they say how they died? Like did they get sh like they were riding through a village and they got shot or? Um, I didn't read the article. I just read the headline. To be honest, it was on um one of the fucking like um what was it the military one of the military Facebook pages? See, uh, and the now, military Facebook pages are so full of shit. So full of shit. I just still thought it was funny as hell though when I read it because I was like, you know what? That was exactly right. And if I'm not mistaken, there was a pretty good um, 
It, it was actually not a bad. Or where the fuck is it? Because now I want to find it and I can't remember the name of the fucking uh thing here. I will find it. I think I will have to post a link to it when I find it. As although I'm gonna have to go back and read it now because I want to double check to make sure yeah. that it was a reputable source, not some bullshit. <clears throat> It might have been the onion. <laughs> uh, I don't think it was the onion because uh, those usually stick out like a sore fucking thumb. God only knows where it came from. Either way, it's still funny to me. Yeah, that well, you know, that's what I think is falls under that play stupid games, win stupid prizes thing. Yeah. Oh, so if it was truly, if when I find it, if it truly is a um. A real and reputable um, news article. I will share. Oh hell, I'll share it even if it isn't, just because it is funny. I guess I have a sick sense of humor when it comes to that, though. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like what, what the hell? Like, what do you expect is going to happen when you <clears throat> like went through like one of the, you know, least safest countries in the world? Well, even if that particular scenario isn't the truth, there are still so many different scenarios that go on that, that are pretty much the same thing that it, people just, I don't know what they're thinking. What, what, why, why do that? Okay. So it's, it's, it's a bit different than I, than what everybody says. Um, so they were, they were riding their bicycle oh, and they were it? in, yeah, Tajikistan which is close to the border of Afghanistan, but not quite Afghanistan. Um, and it was four people. Two of them were from the U.S. One was from the Netherlands. One was from uh, Switzerland. They got, they ran them over with a car. Um, and the people were on a... Uh, the people were just out doing like a... a uh, by the looks of it here... Uh, they were just doing a scenery ride. There was nothing, there was no protests or anything about it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they must have changed the fucking headline on their thing to adjust for their own agenda then. Well, in that case, still, one of those things I did learn, don't go to any place that ends in fucking stand. It's usually not good for your health. Yeah. <clears throat> Unless that's t Tenacious TX Vape site. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I must be a softy. A loss of life is loss of life. Yeah. I just, you know, it, it sucks hearing about any stories like that anywhere. Yeah. I agree. It does. I don't know what I'm uh, And so apparently, this apparently it's a it's a fairly not not, but it's a it's a common thing for people to go bicycling in this area apparently. And that's why it was, that's why it was targeted. So, yeah, um, like I said, when I see when I see stuff, especially when it comes off like the military sites, because the military sites just they just make shit up. Like it's just it's people it's it's far rightists making fun of anybody, and they put it up on the military sites because you know quite frankly a lot of the military folks happen to be a little bit a uh, little bit right swinging, if you will. A little bit. There's a lot of them that are a fucking ton right swinging. Who are you kidding? Yeah, I know, but so yeah, it's um when I hear about something like that, I'm just like, eh, I, I'll go, I'll go and read and see what it was about, and, and it sounds like it was just it was just four people who were in an area where they've done this sort of thing, or this sort of thing is pretty common in the um, ISIS apparently uh, ISIS apparently targeted has started targeting people in the area, so yeah, you know, yep, yeah, still still in that same borderline need. Stay the fuck away from that area, period. Yeah, you probably don't want to go bicycle riding in anything that ends with a stand. TJ is, in fact, quite correct about that. You probably don't want to go bicycling in those areas. You should, you should definitely want to, want to stay on the safe side of that one. Like, why? I don't want to go bicycle riding anywhere. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, like, neighborhoods, like, 20 blocks away from me that I would, like, never even, like, walk through, let alone ride a bike through. And, like, he's, he's not even going to drive country. a car fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To like go to another country, like ah, I'm not even taking that chance. I mean, it's a it's a thing. The dark tourism—that's what they're calling it. Yeah. They have a show on Netflix. It's a it's a fucking thing. 
Like I'm going to go on vacation in Iraq. I'm going to watch some shit get blown up or I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to Afghanistan and, and vacation. Like, dude, you're setting yourself up for like the worst possible fucking time you've ever had on a vacation. Like I'm sure people come out of it like that was the best. I'm like, well, you came out alive. You didn't lose anybody. It's the people who are in there. They're not having such a good time. You're on vacation. Yeah. Being an idiot. How does people how do people go from skydiving and fucking fast roller coasters to wanting to go over there and I don't know. It <laughs> Coke means a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's like people say, oh, I want to go to North Korea. Why? You know you're risking life and limb for that. But I guess. Oh, but they're a total badass if they go over there and live and come back. Or they're Dennis Rodman. Yeah, true. (laughs) No, um, Eric, I just want to correct you, Eric. If I look like I was Stan, this shit would not look this nice. Have you ever seen the beards on those people? What you see in the movies is well groomed. Those things over there, not so well groomed. Giving back to this badass thing, being a badass is raising a thirteen-year-old daughter. If you come through that alive, you're a fucking badass. <laughs> you mean if you make it through without going to prison? Yes. That's what I was gonna say. If you come out without a criminal mm-hmm. record. I know parents. Parents have all my respect in the world. I can't do it. So what's up? Let me see. Bones is in the house now. Albert Rodriguez is out there. Mister Capozzi's out there. James Capozzi. We have all the cool kids showing up. Hazel's in the house. What's happening, Hazel? Everybody's rolling in. I like it. Glad to have you all back for another Slow- round. Slowly but surely. Absolutely. Who are you calling, Shirley? <laughs> Susan, who's got time for manscaping, Hazel? What? Hazel yeah. said so. No manscaping over there. I don't have time for that. But, yeah, who's yeah? My manscaping stops at the bald head. <laughs> they do a whole lot of. I woke up like this. <laughs> yeah, see, I woke up like this. No, not really. <laughs> when I wake this- up. <laughs> if y'all see my beard in the morning before I actually brush that son of a bitch, holy shit. Yeah, mine looks like a nest, like a bird's nest. It's Are you saying what you got going on is premeditated? Oh, Absolutely. it's definitely premeditated because when I look, wake up, I look in the mirror and I think I've seen a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He gets up around, wrapped around your ear and stuff. <laughs> oh, it's been there. <laughs> See, I got that European neck beard going on, so I wake up and it looks like Chewbacca's got me in a headlock. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite is like waking up and you can tell it like exactly which way you've been sleeping because the beard's just got like this tilt and it's yeah. not doing anything else for a bit. And you're like, ah, all, all on its own. Yeah. And when I have those days where it just is fucking cocked off and it ain't doing it, nope, right into the shower. Suck your ass down and get you back in line there. And a whole fucking bunch of beard wax. <laughs> well, I only use the beard wax when I go out because when I'm around the house, it doesn't fucking matter. He's got to look pretty when he goes out. Damn right. Well, I mean, Mrs. TJ's not having, like, the, the lack of, the lack of uh, arm candy, that ain't happening for Mrs. TJ. No, if I, mean, I look like, like I was homeless I in the enough, points. Oh, I, I can. No, I mean the rest of the beard. Get enough beard wax in there to oh, like, spike it. Oh, run a bunch of different... You know, I thought about that. Because always, at, at least once a year, you see that video that makes the round for the guys with the fucking beard competition. See guys making bird cages and shit out of their beards. Like, his fucking beard and shit. No, that shit's pretty cool. I could get down with that. <laughs> There's the one guy I keep seeing. He's got these two big old parts here. They come into giant fucking circles and just sit here. So he's got two big circles. Look like fucking fit two big old 40s in there. I've seen that guy. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's, What's happening? What's up, black cat? Scat. 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 <laughs> I thought that's how you got rid of him was to say scat. Or no, is that we the feline fecal flinger? 
Exactly. I was just I was just reminding him of that time he went on vacation in Boston. Scat! Scat! <laughs> Scat! Kapakaka! Scat! Come on over, we got some wicked cold brews! <laughs> Why did you just remind me of a really bad Adam Sandler playoff there? <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying that Adam Sandler does a poor New England accent. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> he does. But I think that's what makes it funny. Because people know that guy? Yeah. Only his early shit, though. Lately, the shit he throws out now is just garbage. Or maybe I'm just growing out of it. I don't know. You're growing out of your Sandler phase? I, oh, I'm well past it. I can tell you that. Unless you throw on something like um, one of his early CDs from the nineties, you throw on Happy Gil. You throw on Happy Gilmore. I will sit down and watch it. Yeah, that that one's a given. With some so, intensity, <laughs> you'll never know who Tollbooth Willie is. <laughs> I'm coming out of the or booth. why he's coming out of the booth. <laughs> yeah, fuck you and all your lesbian fish eating friends. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nice. I heard that one fucking yesterday, you fucking unoriginal bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and all you Netflix people out there, if you see something that says uh, new to Netflix or trending on Facebook or whatever, do not watch the package. It, it, it It's just wrong. The, the movie picture has a picture of an eggplant. <clears throat> and the package that they're talking about is just what you think. It's a dick. Yeah. Dick. Nice. Now it's I'm a watching. Dick gets, a dick that gets cut off. I think I've seen this movie. Isn't there an eggplant emoji? Yeah, there sure is. <laughs> Damn. You will not get back that hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> you won't ever get it back. Oh, yeah. no. I'm thinking of uh, Purple People Eater. There was a movie called Purple People Eater. It was, uh, yeah, and it starred Ron it's... Jeremy, of all people, and Ron Jeremy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that's kind of a given. If you're hiring him, you're not hiring him for him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, still la- I still laugh about him and Boondock. <laughs> ah, GSP, the wife made the mistake of choosing that last day. Oh. It's, one of those, it's one of those films <clears throat> where you get to that point of it, you're like, Okay, I should just turn this fucker off. But you don't. Because you, you know, as soon as you do, one of your friends is going to say, the best part of it was 50 minutes in. And you cut it off at 48 no, minutes. And right, nope. Right. nope. <laughs> Shake it up. Shake well, that's okay, Easy Rider. You don't have to like the warning label. I think a lot of a a lot of what we're seeing is I get, I, I don't know it almost feels like giving in everybody throwing nicotine on their stuff like yeah we're the bad guys it's that's what it feels like to me you know, and I would I would love for I would love for everybody just to not give in and everybody just to say fuck you we're not putting labels on no, because what are they going to do to everybody? Or fuck you, we're not going to fuck you, we're not going to se- fuck you, we're still going to sell. That's what I want to see. Because I don't know. Like I said, it feels like it feels like we're the bad guys a lot of times, and we shouldn't we shouldn't have to feel like the bad guys. We're doing good things. Yeah, right. We're like a bunch of people who quit smoking cigarettes. Exactly. Lives. What, what the fuck? Well, but at the same time, to be the devil's advocate. There's a lot of mom and pop e-liquids that don't put any kind of warnings out there. I know some big name companies that I'm not going to point out at this current moment, just for legality's sake, that sell a shit ton of e-liquid and their label has no fucking warnings whatsoever. I've got a couple bottles of it sitting over there. It has no fucking warnings whatsoever. And for every company that we know of that puts every warning that they should have and they always have, there's going to be a couple of those assholes that are going to be bigger names that are going to get more recognized that aren't doing it. And they're going to be the representative in this situation because they're the one that people more readily see. 
yeah. those are the assholes that we really have to wrangle in. And that's the reason we're going to have to do some kind of warning label. And it really isn't too unreasonable so long as they don't get too crazy with it. Like the simple warning label that Leap has got is just plain common sense. Like everything has to have some kind of disclaimer on it these days. A curling iron has a for external use only sticker on it. Just think about that. <laughs> here, here, here's here's a fun one. Think of, for those of you who live in California, you'll understand this very well. When I lived out there, I went to Home Depot to go get a couple of two by fours and doing a project. On every fucking two by four that I bought, there is a warning label from some jackass scientist in the state of California that said sawdust is known to the state of California, specifically the state of California, to yep. cause cancer. It has nothing to do with all the fucking smog and shit that's in the air in L.A., San Diego, Oakland, any of that. It has nothing to do with that at all. It's strictly the sawdust that's in this 2x4. Should you cut it and inhale it, you could get cancer. Motherfucker, I'm going to get cancer from drinking water. <laughs> so... Yes, they do need warning labels. However, some of that stuff goes way over overboard. Something simple is fine, but where they're telling people if you need to label 20% of your picture or whatever the fuck it was with that, get the fuck out. As long as they can see the warning label on the bottle you're holding up, it's fucking there. There's no reason for them to put that the rest of it all over your fucking phone. Get the fuck out. Well, I think part of that problem as well is that this rule they say was intended for tobacco which the smallest tobacco pack you can get is you know like a can of skull or something which still has more surface area to advertise or to put a warning on than your average 30 mil e-liquid bottle but if you're talking about like a pack of cigarettes or a pack of cigars that little you know 25 percent isn't going to be shit to them whereas with an e-liquid that 25 percent is a hell of a lot more significant to us well, and I'm, per I'm perfectly all right with it you put 25 percent on that bottle that's fine whatever it's not a big deal so if your labels well fuck let's say for let's say for a big label even like this you cut quarter of this off i'm still gonna know what everything over here says exactly i'll be able to read it see it from a shelf from a distance i can hold the way the fuck back here i'm still gonna know just by looking at it whose it is who makes it that warning label is not gonna make a difference I'm talking about where they're talking about, well, if you're posting to, to Instagram or Facebook with product advertisement, no. No, get the fuck out. As long as they can see it on the bottle that it was printed on, that should be good enough. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like, it shouldn't be a tobacco product to begin with. Like, that's the, that's, I mean, that's the big argument. Like... G, I am Just, perfectly all right with you changing it to um Darwinism. <laughs> What's he changing and change one of the names of liquids to Darwinism? No, he wants to change his warning label to warn of Darwinism. OTSS, only the strong survive. <laughs> you could have the two labels right on top of each other, Giancarlo. Yeah, and I, if you really wanted to break it down for him, you can put um, this only applies to those that are born retarded can fix it. <laughs> Quit fighting me. Quit fighting me, bag. There we go. Fat Darwin. <laughs> no more fat Tony. It's not fat Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jay Jari does. Uh, I, I understand where Jay Jari is coming from. Your video is not nicotine. You're right. It isn't. But if I go <clears throat> to review Bogan's Brew next week and I'm saying, giving all the highlights about it, I, I in a sense, am shouting it out. I am putting it out there where somebody could look at it and go, this is an advertisement for it. If it's a good review, I'm saying it's good. Go get some, add a link that I provided down below. It, in a sense, I, I understand why putting something on there. If, it, if somebody's watching it and thinks it's just something tasty, who knows? I, I, I understand why it's 
why they're wanting to go there. Just the same way I understand why over in the UK and Ireland and shit like that, that they have big old pictures of the nasty lungs on their boxes and things like that. It, it's to deter people who don't know better. Well, the problem right now is it's turned into such a big scare tactic for them. Because we all know it's better. I mean, there's for for them right now. I think it's just a scare tactic to try to cripple the industry in the United States. To be honest. Yep, that's exactly what it's gonna do. Like the, you know, maybe maybe strawberry Jolly Rancher was the flavor that some dude needed. He can't get it. He can't get it here shortly. So. Yep, I mean, back to cigarettes, anti-smoking devices made by pharmaceutical companies, then chemo because you got fucking lung cancer. Do you see the, well, I'm going to save that for Friday. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. Are you save talking it. about the link that you shot? Yeah. 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 I, did, I did see your comment on there, and that was very fitting. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It, the irony in that is hilarious, considering you know the iron, the irony of it all. <laughs> uh, I mean, and even without mentioning that, I, I can put it this way: What did the Royal College of Physicians say about vaping? Yep. Up to ninety-five percent safer than smoking. That doesn't mitigate all risk. No, nope. anything foreign that you're putting in your body always comes with some sort of risk in one way, shape, or form. But if you can mitigate 95% of that, why are they not jumping on board with this as a safer alternative? Cut down on the cancer rate. But no, they've turned it into a scare tactic. Why are we not listening to the same people who told us smoking causes cancer that we didn't listen to initially and waited? How many years was it before the... U.S. jumps on board and goes, oh, yeah, smoking does 20, cause cancer. Over, over 20. Yeah. Over 20 years. So we probably got another 20 years before they say, oh, vaping is safer. Because, well, they're fucking retarded like that. And also, I think part of it is they can't figure out how to regulate something that's blown up so quickly. Oh, they, they're completely inept in trying to do it. Right. Completely inept. And to be honest, I can understand that. However, for something that started as a homegrown industry, that's not, um, it's not something that they should be over-regulating. It's like a mom and pop fucking ice cream shop that makes their own ice cream. I mean, you're not going to find it on a store shelf anywhere. And so there's not really a way to regulate it other than to go, okay, you got to just make it in a clean fashion. And use only exactly. approved ingredients. That's fine. Whatever. But still. And just ridiculous. But either way. We digress, people. We digress. Yeah, this is a Wednesday show. We're supposed to be having fun, not getting fucking ornery. I'm not trying to be ornery. That's, that's, for, that's for Friday. We're going to get ornery on Friday. Yeah, my shit's all fucked up now. Now I, now I got to get back on track. So There it is. There it is. That'll, that'll help. There we go. Boobies. Is that, the, is that the long one? Where she kind of gets a, like, no, that's the short one. There's a there's a the longer one I sent you where she gets kind of tired. She's got more moves, but she gets tired. Yeah. <laughs> she's got no cardio. Those are quite some gingerly boobies. That's all I'm saying. All she, also, she's stoned. <laughs> Warning: This video contains boobies. Weed. <laughs> And apparently, um, Spork Life is now wet. Hmm. That's a weird, little weird. He's been talking a whole lot about his mangina. <laughs> I'm starting well, to He went to the waterfall. After vape your face off, he fell asleep with nap your face off. And then he went for a <laughs> ride to the waterfall. That's why he's wet. <laughs> gotcha. Him and his baby blue bike. You see the wheels on that thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, now he says he's just got out of the shower. That's why he's wet. Okay, well. But he's out there riding. He's having himself a fucking blast. That's all that matters. 
Yep. OR, OR says he's down with the fake ones. When I look at them, they're real as long as I can touch them. Yep. They all taste the same. It's all. I good. mean, they're they're definitely there. They're not fa They're not like. You can't see them, but they're not really there type thing. <laughs> Giz, Giz says it has fatties. <laughs> oh. Trout bears in the house. What's up? Did you guys hear that boobs in the state of California can cause cancer? Not so I can't show them anymore. They happen. Thanks for ruining it, Jesse. I so, can't show them anymore. They cause cancer. It's cool. You had a warning label up. You're all right. Yeah, it's good. She may contain nicotine. <laughs> if I get all over, she will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. God, please, Mrs. Don't watch this. Oh, she's watching. Just because you don't want her to. This will be the one time she sits down and watches a whole episode. Through exactly. Oh, I'll know because I'll come out from fucking my break tomorrow to go have breakfast or lunch, and uh, I'll never hear the end of it. I know how that'll go. Really, really, it, really. It, really it, I'll get that, and then it'll. Can be... I go get some fake boobs, TJ? Is that what you want? Are you the, are you gonna put some nicotine in me then, TJ? Like, oh Lord, here it goes. <laughs> it just say something there, and then it'll eventually be nothing at all for like the next four days. <laughs> Which, not gonna lie, there's some times where that is really nice. It is nice and quiet, and I can think. <laughs> Sometimes I start a fight with my wife just so she'll leave me alone. Oh, you're gonna play the silent, the, the angry silence on me? Oh, yes. Oh, that's gonna suck so bad. Yes. Success. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, this is gonna be a show she watches. So I won't see you guys for like two or three weeks because she's gonna be like, You can't do your show now, fucker. Somebody's in jail. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. In the jungle, the. <laughs> Midmost here? <laughs> I'm just I'm just tracing where people are walking upstairs. I love my hardwood floors. They're awesome. They're great. Except for I can hear them in the basement. <laughs> I know exactly where everybody is at every single moment of, of the day. Yeah. If I ever you had can, to look, hide you from can look right at them at, and all they're doing is kind of like leaning forward. You're like, so Found he's you. all like, get out of the pantry. Not snack time. <laughs> the plus side is if you're ever home alone and you hear an intruder, you know where to point the shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> I have been watching this Hollywood Hollywood something where they uh, they do all of the gun and gun defense action from the movies to see if it actually works. Like one of them was uh shots underwater where they had a guy like took three shots out of a out of a glock and it supposedly broke the glass the first shot and then the two shots after he killed the bad guys in the car and of course it didn't work underwater when they had their testing tank and stuff like that hmm, of course not but spoiler alert if you uh are looking to hide behind something um in the wild west the horse trough filled with water is yep. a good place to hide behind because it won't break through the second set of boards on the other side. Nope, the water will stop it. As it long as first. there's water in the horse trough, that's the key. <laughs> yeah, as long as they're shooting at you from an angle, not like from above. Because if they're just like lean over, then you're still fucked. Then you're just a noob on Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> 1895 with original hardwood flooring. Jeez, Christy, Phil. Nice. Yeah, that's about mine. Mine's like 1894. Wow. That's why this basement has uh, three foot thick uh, limestone walls for the foundation. Okay. 
motherfuckers aren't going nowhere. No. But also in the winter, they're a great conductor of frozen soil around the house. So the temperature down here can be without a space heater. Upstairs, it's 70 degrees down here. It could be like 50. Oh, great yeah. temperature to store e-liquid and nicotine because there's no light getting in and it's a cool, dark place. But not great to work all day long without a space heater underneath the desk. <laughs> Oh, I know that feeling. That's this office. It's fucking poorly insulated. My space heater going all winter long. Yeah, mine's the same way upstairs. I mean, there's a heat duct that comes in here, but she don't fucking do it. <laughs> See, that's why if you watch my, uh, when I designed this area, I took the Dremel tool and cut myself a heat duct <laughs> exit <laughs> out of the one that runs right there. I'm like, I gotta have something coming in here directly. Jesus Christ. You might want to get your AC unit checked if it hasn't gotten below 74 degrees in there. Uh, he's probably in one of those great places. Like, we could turn off ours off in, at night, but with the humidity that we got, it, it would just feel worse. Yep, same here. It's. I've tried that a couple times this summer, and I was like, "Yep, nope." Humidity's been fucking miserable. Fuck off. It's, it's not as bad as Louisiana humidity, so I'm not gonna complain too much. But it's still bad enough to where I'm saying, "Fuck that shit." Where you have to have your dehumidifier running all the time, or your entire place gets filled with mold. Yep. <clears throat> Mine is over behind that wall. When I leave to go upstairs, the humidifier comes on. Yeah, I remember when I first moved to Fort Polk there, nobody told me the humidifier shit when I moved in. So I never oh, changed the fucking water. And I noticed all this black shit starting to grow on the walls. I'm like, what the fuck? So every day I'm scrubbing the fucking walls and there's more of it. And all of a sudden someone says, you've been emptying your dehumidifier? I'm like, what? The fuck is that? For? <laughs> I never fucking used one of those things. Like, yeah, you need to empty it every day. They weren't fucking kidding. That thing would fill up once, twice a day down there. She was yep. miserable. That's why mine doesn't even have a tank. It has the tube that comes off to the plug drain right here in the basement. Yep. Yeah. I've got one in my basement here that fucking hose runs right to the drain. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that once I decide to finish the basement. In Easdale, yeah, 80%. Some nights I, I go over there, turn it on, and I look, and it's like 86%. I'm like, oh, I vape way too much in this page. <laughs> 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 but then again, in the winter, you don't have any of that. I can set that thing at 50, and it'll never kick on the entire winter. Yep. That's it. That's mine too. The only time mine really runs is during the summer. During the winter, fucking don't run at all. When we first moved in, I thought something was messed up with the AC unit because that humidifier, when it kicks in, is like, <laughs> it's just a huge <laughs> unit. So every once in a while, I'd feel the air kick on and then that go ahead and power up too. I thought there was something going wrong with one of the the fan motors or something in the each back and I'm like, holy shit. Came down and up it's that Yeah. There we go. I'm sick of fucking with that. Mechanical it is. Oh, uh, Kenny V makes a good comment about the hot water, even the cold side. <clears throat> it's funny being with the bathroom upstairs. You turn on the cold water and you wait about 25, 30 seconds before the warm water gets out. So you get the cold water to come up there. Yeah, my pipes are like that in this house because this was built in the 40s or well, late 40s. So it's all old copper piping. 
nothing's fucking insulated properly, so it takes you 30 seconds before you got hot water in the fucking shower. I'm going, it's no wonder my fucking water bills are so goddamn high here. Um, I don't get VG pedals under fans. Rob Scanlon's asking. I don't get VG pedals under anything unless it spills. No. And I, you know, everybody worries about computer cases and stuff like that because I have it over here and I got like four hundred millimeter fans in in the unit. You think with vaping by it, it'd bring it in, but every month I take the cover off to look at look at the board and look at things in there, and I haven't got anything coming into it. Yeah. So it's all right, all right, all right. Yeah. And it's got a glass side to it, so if there was VG collecting going towards it, I would I would see it on that glass. Oh yeah. Oh sick of being here. Need to buy a new regulated mod. Something that fires down below point one. Uh, the Proton does it. The Aegis will. The Aegis will fire anything. The Aegis doesn't care. So if you're looking, if well, you really want to get nutty, the Ra the Aegis is the way to go. And, and it's not really fucking low. It's like a point oh eight. Yeah, you want because I I don't know that I I think the Proton fires down a point oh eight, and then the Aegis I've I've had a point oh five on it before and it still fired everything. Yes. For being my daily banger, that's the only thing I do not like about this, is it doesn't fucking want to fire when you hit point one or below. It says it fires down to point one, but if I have something that's point one one, it's a, don't abuse. Fuck you. I'm well within fucking where I'm supposed to be. Fuck off. Don't abuse me, CJ. Uh, in that case, fuck you. I'll get straight battery power, motherfuckers. <laughs> Yep. You push the button. And goes, what are What are you doing, TJ? <laughs> well, I love I love it. don't abuse protects. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. The don't abuse protect fucking thing. Fuck don't off. abuse protects. Like like motherfucker, don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> well, doesn't one of the new uh, smoke ones, one of the new smoke mods that talks, doesn't it like reply to you as like subservient kind of? It's like, what a child, master. Like That'd be I could awesome. Have sworn in somebody's review, I think it was like a like Fagan had a review or so, somebody had a review of this smoke tech mod, and it it responded in like, you know, broken English, but it was like very subservient, like its command, like its responses. It was kind of weird. <laughs> oh yeah, it said master. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Did fa so can you program it to tell you what to call you? No, unfortunately. I think that was one of the complaints one of the reviewers had, like, that they wanted it, like, to be more personalized, but, like, you know, that it's it's new technology, and so it can only go, you know, so far now, but they're probably going to take it farther, because it's like, you know, you have to say, like, up wattage, and it goes up 10, and you have to say up wattage, and it goes up another 10 watts. It's like, you know, you should be able to say, like, 50 watts, and then it'll set it to whatever, you know, you ask it, but they haven't figured yeah. it out yet. 50 watts! Yeah, right? <clears throat> 50 watts. They gotta, gotta accommodate for various accents. 50 watts. Uh, now, Meter, what are they gonna name that? Is that like the Canabrona? They haven't officially announced a name for it yet. Just that it's going. And it's only going there, and they're literally gonna fly it right the fuck over us because our government is too fucking stupid to get on board. So they might accidentally airdrop some into the States? We can only fucking hope, man, because <laughs> as tough as these walls are about to become, good luck getting somebody to bring one over. Yeah. Can of Can of bro now. Wow. <laughs> they highlight bro in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> of course they did. Of course they did. They know, they know, they know, they know, ex they know exactly who they're marketing to. Bro. Yes, they do. Coronas have weed in them, right? Dude, we're going up to Canada to drink some of that, to get some of that uh, Cabrona. <laughs> you coming along, bro? Oh Lord! Oh, oh, French fried gravy and Corona with weed in it, man. There, if if I remember correctly, I did see some small company in 
um, Colorado was brewing some now. Yep. They can, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well within their rights. Yeah. Well, well within their state rights, not federally, but. <laughs> Yeah. Can you grow your own in Canada? Yeah. As of January 1st, yes. Like they put a, a reasonable limit on it, but yes, everyone in Canada can, as of January, grow your own, food, smoke your own weed, give it to your fucking neighbor if you want to, because, you know, adults being responsible are allowed to be adults being responsible up there. Yeah. Would it do like three to five plants a piece or something? Or Well, no, it wouldn't be like that much. It's kind of like, when Oregon went that way, <laughs> this is funny. I, I even remember this, but um, they use the Voodoo Donuts as a guide to how much you could have on you. Like the size of two Voodoo Donuts is what you could have on your possession. <laughs> they had a whole, um, this is how much you can have in holding at your house. And it was like four Voodoo Donuts wide. <laughs> By that saw, and then they had how many plants you could have, and I think at that point it was like two, maybe three tops for plants. But it's way higher than that now. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think Canada is going with like a dozen, maybe ten wow. or a dozen. Like it's it's a really reasonable amount. Like it's enough that any one person could easily provide for themselves all year long without ever having to rely on a store if they were so inclined to. Damn right. I can only hope we'll get some trickle down. Would <laughs> it looks like Wood Tick Mike's getting ready to take a trip across the border. <laughs> Wood Tick Mike's going to go get some, go get him some Cabrona. About to become an expat. <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, the Canadians, there's Colby. He'll know more about that. <laughs> What's up, Colby? Wizard wants to take a crack at growing, he says. <laughs> it's for Spork Wife, though. Yeah, it's not a, not for him. <laughs> it's all right. I'll make a pilgrimage. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to do some quality control, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Colby's doing a little listening and driving. You probably shouldn't be texting and chat then. I'm just saying. But we want you safe Maybe. and alive. All right, well, well, you we... can still do uh, voice to text. Uh, yeah, fair oh, enough. Nice. Yeah. Uh, then I will shut the fuck up trying to tell people to be safe. <laughs> do what you grown want. Ass man. You know, yeah, do what you want. Do what you want. Don't listen to me. I am a bad influence. I'm not going <laughs> to tell you how to live your life. <laughs> that's what I that's my uh that's been my mantra lately with dealing with people. You're a grown ass man, you can do whatever you want. Exactly like that. I'm gonna give you some suggestions, but you are a grown ass man, you'll choose whatever you wanna do. Yep. Hmm, speaking of that, I've been thinking about starting to take some more fucking college classes too. Oh shit. He's going to get too smart for us. No. no. I just need to catch up with everybody else. That's the fucking problem. Just don't take any classes on, like, I don't know, like, common sense and stuff like that. You can get all smart as you want in tech stuff, but you got to stay the same level as us with, like, common... Well, see, here, here's the fucking problem there. Is you can't teach common sense. I don't know why they call it fucking common anyways, because that shit ain't common. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty rare. You know, it's amazing how many people I've met that have fucking master's degrees or better have no fucking common sense. Yep. It's like, dude, you go over there, you're going to get murdered. I'm just I'm, saying, you, you're a very book smart individual, but you couldn't pour piss out of a boot if the directions were on the heel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, book smarts only get you so far. When when shit gets dirty, you gotta have some common sense, some freaking wisdom, some well, that, life experience. Maybe that's exactly right too. Because I mean, anybody can learn how to take a test good and get a passing grade. 
Yep. Anyway. I like that. Kenny B has a great point about phones not working when you get on a car. When I hop in my car and it hooks up the Bluetooth, it automatically knows it's the vehicle Bluetooth, and it texts back whoever texts in. Sorry, I'm driving. I'll have to get back to you. No matter how many times they text, it sends back the same message. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking genius it's a little bit of a pain in the ass on uh, the passenger side when the wife's driving because I gotta turn that message off but it's alright there you go talking about talking about <laughs> apparently we're back on how long it takes to grow things now Mm. Speaking uh, of which, learn something new. Being the first year we've had a garden, you have to prune tomato plants. Otherwise, the tomatoes will not ripen because they don't get enough yes, sunlight. Sir. Learn yep. something fucking new. You had yep, no I do tomatoes every year. We have these fucking gigantic ass beefsteak tomatoes out there, like two mm. fucking pounds plus. And they're all fucking green. They've been green for a couple weeks. And we're going, why the fuck are they not turning? Oh, you got to prune them. Well, stupid us. I've never fucking grown a thing in my life. Well, <laughs> no. I managed to grow a kid, but that was a little bit different. I didn't have to do any fucking work there. And I put in my time, but that was about it. Oh, I will say, easiest thing in the world to grow? Fucking eggplants. Speaking of the eggplants we were talking about earlier, easy yeah. to grow. All you do is you just throw the motherfuckers in the ground and they will fucking go. You don't have to do anything with them. Make sure they're watered. So I got about 15 fucking eggplants off of one plant that there's no way I'm going to fucking eat 15 eggplants to give them away to uh, the fucking neighbors. Eggplant parmesan? They'll be in heaven. Oh, been there, done that. Grilled so, them. Uh, green onions and scallions are the same way too. I think we like my mom planted them here like 20 years ago and they pop up every year. You don't have to do anything. They just keep coming back. So it's always a fresh... Always a fresh oh, although I th think with... Uh, I think with the eggplants, those are just an annual because it is something you have to plant every year. It's not yeah. one of those perennials, which it's all right by me because we over planted this year anyways. But I do got a fuck ton of poblano peppers, which I'm fucking excited about. I'm going to make me some fire roasted salsa with all the jalapenos and shit I got out there. Nice. We've got onions, so I've got everything I need short of cilantro because we didn't grow any fucking herbs. <laughs> You don't want just a whole shitload of cilantro sitting around for no reason. <laughs> yeah, moderation, right? Yeah. There's a moderation thing. I mean, and, unless you're making something like carne asada, then you want a ton of it. You're having a taco That's party. That's right. Jesse, is that coming to you? I'm trying to decipher it. Uh, Jesse I don't know if you've seen that comment, but Richard, I think Richard, you, okay, Richard Young. Jesse, I ordered two stands. You mm -hmm. better solder or sand them. <laughs> I don't sand any of them. If you pay extra, there's an upcharge. Yeah. Well, yeah. If in I the, have to sand them, it's definitely an upcharge. All you had to do in the special comments was say, no tiny dicks, just sanding. Easy fix. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Are you really going down that road? Are you telling me you have to poo? He has to go find poo. That's my ticker, isn't it? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you guys took away his glory, though. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's a good one. It is. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I can, I, you know, and I can picture Gizzard saying the joke as he's typing <laughs> it. He was looking for poo. <laughs> and bring in the chuckle. All right, so this was... See, this is where someone else needs a judgmental gift like Gizzard has so we could do it. I'll work on it. <laughs> He really did make an order. Thanks, Richard. 
he's gonna fill it, he's gonna fill it right now. Got that sweet deal going right now. You better get that sandpaper. You may as well sand it while you're live on air, just so that way it's done. Oh, I thought he was wanting me to pour sand in them and mail them. I guess if you want to pay the shipping on the extra weight, feel free. Oh, it's flat rate, baby. Oh, if you're flat rating it, you're good. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna open and get the beach at the house. Well, if you do put in like a ton of like metal beads around it while it's shipping all the jostling from people carrying it, shoving them on trucks, it, it may sand it down a little bit, like beat blasting. Free friction sanding. There you go. Turn that to the package into a burnisher. Be all polished and shit. The shit. motherfucking O is in the house. Oh shit! <laughs> I I love that fucking screen name. What the fuck was that? <laughs> like somebody's having a little bit of a fucking spaz is out there. <laughs> Kids these days. Oh, I forgot to mention, Fresh, I mixed your uh, your custard base with your peanut butter base, and I just smashed them together, percent, you know, just one to one. It's yeah. delicious. Like, I like hearing that. The two combined, it's like you made a recipe and you didn't even know you made it. <laughs> it's really good. It actually, the, the way the, the, that the custard goes with the peanut butter, it kind of almost gives it like a, like a honey sweetness to it, sort of, like with, with the mixture of those flavors. So it's like almost like a honey roasted, creamy peanut butter. It's pretty good. I'm going to have to do that. Yeah. Because I've thought about throwing a peanut butter custard together, which of course means I would go exactly that direction. <laughs> so it's accidental awesomeness? Yeah. Was... I'm full of accidental awesome, Jesse. Me too. You, no one ever sees it, though. I think I put a quarter percent of biscuit in there, too, because I think in one of yours you had like 0. 0.75 or 0. 0.5. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't want to do biscuit. Cool. So I uh, just put in a quarter percent, and that might be, I don't know, giving it that honey or something. I don't know what's doing it, but the combination of those flavors, it's it's pretty good. The biscuit does go well with that peanut butter base. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I've destroyed it. I mean, I made this like four days ago. and Nice. Was, yeah, because that excellent. peanut butter base only takes about three days and the the uh, custard's yeah, obviously a, shock and bop. Yeah, the peanut butter took a couple days to calm down. She's a little uh, angry. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That flavor of peanut butter is like really nutty. Yeah. Like it's like biting into a red skin peanut, basically. And you got yeah, you gotta sit back and wait for the rest of the peanut butters to be like, hey bro, come on back. Yep. Sit down at the table, order another drink, everything's cool. <laughs> yeah, I recommend anybody give that a try. So oh, that would be I can tell you exactly what the recipe is then. Right here, everybody. <laughs> right here, right now. Who needs it? Me. I am almost done, almost done with mixing. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> You've been going strong since we started. Yeah. Well, I got to get stuff ready. I got to get stuff ready. Jesus, Tim. What the hell are you doing over there? Over I'm up to no good. I'm working still on that little secret project that you can't tell anybody about. That I am still working on that, yeah. Mm hmm This is something completely different, what I'm doing right now. And then I have another super secret project. Jesus. So when exactly do you sleep fresh? I, I actually sleep quite a bit, but I also get up really super early. I get up at like, I get up between like, usually between 3.30 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Jesus fuck. The only time, the last time I really did that was when my son was still waking up in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually up till like five in the morning working on stuff. I don't get to bed till like six sometimes. Yeah, I'll go to bed. I'll go to bed within an hour after the show's over. This is my late night, hanging out with my boys. Freshy after dark. <laughs> Honey roasted peanut, babe. 
That would probably be good, except for that honey would make it smell like cat piss. Depends on the honey. There's there Damn. are one or two that work. You just need like a hint of something honey in here to make it like a honey roasted peanut butter. Otherwise, it's pretty much already there. Maybe like flavor milk and honey, just a just a touch. Yeah. Yeah. From touch. Everything I've heard about that flavor, that seems like that would be the one. Yeah, that sun seed is like it's perfect for it, isn't it? But it's ridiculously potent. Like my whole freaking box from a uh, ECX just yeah. smelled like a bag of sunflower seeds. Yeah. And it, when you open it up, your entire place is going to smell like sunflower seeds for days. Yeah. Open it outside. You open it, you open the you open the bottle just long enough to get that drop out and then you're putting it right back on the shelf. Yep, I needed two cuz I made a 60. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, that sunflower seeds gets that. That's a rowdy ass flavor for a couple of days. Really yeah, rowdy. I got like a tiny bit on my hands, and I was like, "Son of a bitch!" <laughs> and sure enough, freaking walking down the sunflower street. Sunflower seeds. Walking down the street, somebody's like, "Somebody's like, hey, bro, you got sunflower seeds? <laughs> Mind if I get some of that? Mind if I get some of them sunflower seeds, man? <laughs> Share the love, man." Yeah. I don't have any sunflower seeds. It's just a flavor. Why are you lying to me, Holmes? And then it th should just go sideways for poor Adam Blarzik. <laughs> Start getting attacked by birds. <laughs> we know you got them. <laughs> I'm like those, the Chicago, those Chicago pigeons. The, the those rowdy, rowdy, some rowdy pigeons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ruthless like, bastards. Like, don't good. mess with those geese either. Geese are <laughs> horrible. They'll get geese you. Are, they are some ornery cocksuckers. Yeah. Every year at my work, they send out three emails about reminder: do not go near the ponds when the geese are present. They will attack you. They will peck the the ass off. If you guess. cannot get into a building because a goose is near, the <laughs> call this number. <laughs> oh my god! No. Uh, that's funny. I I remember seeing a guy. I, I can't remember what the fuck I was golfing. I think it was somewhere in California, if I remember correctly. But I remember watching a guy running down a fairway with like fucking four geese fucking tailing after him. I'm like, dude, turn around and swing the golf club at him. Did you do the fucking club? I'm gonna defend myself if I've got something in my hand. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, like, I'm, ruthless. I'm against animal abuse, but self defense is something completely different. I'm all about going to play golf and coming home with lunch. <laughs> right. It's one thing to hurt an animal. It's a whole other thing. When you get right. four geese chasing you, you got to go Bruce Lee real fucking quick. Yeah, right? you're like, oh, <laughs> the reflexes got to get on. Flying <laughs> feet. Your got to be accurate. <laughs> Man, I didn't know I knew Kung Fu until that moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you walk through spider webs, too. <laughs> Thinking about it, I didn't know I could move that way. <laughs> you back? Oh, different spider webs. <laughs> not, the no, not, not the no doubt uh, vehicle. Uh, Thirty percent of the people watching this won't get it. <laughs> but the ones that do, that's free. <laughs> Are those testers? Yep. What are you testing? Testing, testing to send them out to test in the mail. Oh, testing that mail man. Yeah, I gotta send these. I gotta send these out to a couple people. <laughs> Just deep sigh. Just deep sigh. Hmm. I can tell you what I don't have to test. I can tell you it's already good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit mm -hmm. right there. It's fucking fire. I'm just glad it's finally steeped out enough to I can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my lazy fucking mixing habits. I was going to order me some more the other day, and then my bank account was like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> no, Stucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got back. I got sucked back into the into the dragon shake. Ah. So import man saying we can just grab them by the neck and they'll freak out. <laughs> really? You can get what, close. Birds? The geese. The geese. That's his Good defense. Luck. Good luck. Those little bastards. Those little bastards are like snakes that are like whipping their head around. Trying <laughs> no, to you got to get them by the neck and then swing them around like a helicopter. <laughs> not to mention, it's like a bunny like cartoon. <laughs> like those little fuckers are going to get you on the way in, man. And those 
he's had fucking little ridges on him, man. That shit ain't like smooth yeah. like cartoon. Yeah, I I made the mistake at Madigan of messing with the swans every once in a while, and finally them finally that fucker got me, and it sucked. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, uh, when I was growing up, you know the little things kids push around with the balls in them that fucking pop, make the balls go pop, mm-hmm. pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Apparently, when I was, I think my mom said I was probably about my son's age now, three or four. I fucking running around the yard chasing the fucking the baby geese around the yard. Fucking mama goose came chasing after me, pecked the shit out of me. So apparently they had goose for dinner that night. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was up in my uncle's house and they had geese. Time, so they fucking killed the goose and had it for dinner. Because she said, I look like I had fucking the worst case of fucking chicken pox you've ever seen. Except for it was fucking goose bites everywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. Angry yeah, because that fire. goose that goose was not gonna stop. No. Like, never gonna stop. I was like, I'm kinda glad I don't remember that. <laughs> I had a relative growing up that they had they had taken an old like fucking home and gutted it out and they were raising guineas and fucking geese in the same thing, and it was like a fucking Crips and Bloods level in that fucking building. <laughs> Like, all the guineas stayed on one fucking side, and all the geese stayed on the other. And if you walked in there and you had the feed bucket in your hand, they were cool, because they all fucking knew food comes from that fucking bucket. So if you come in with a bucket, even if there was nothing in it, they'd leave you alone. They wouldn't tell the kids that. They would tell the kids to go in and feed the geese or to feed the guineas for, like, a oh. few minutes for the adults. And they wouldn't tell you you had to bring the bucket with you. They'd just tell you, oh, the food's in there. And then they'd let <laughs> and fucking running back out screaming, ah! Because <laughs> it didn't matter the guineas or the geese, either one. If you went in without a bucket, evil fuck. Jeez. In hindsight, it's hilarious. In the moment, it's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Little feathered dinosaurs chasing you in fucking packs. Oh. Yes, a shotgun does work really well. Yeah. And apparently so does an old Mazda pickup truck. <laughs> I learned that when I was about 16 years old. It's sad when you hit a bird like that because you see the poof of feathers come out. Yep. It's like a fucking cartoon. The first time it happened... I was like, holy shit, but then afterwards I started laughing because all I saw was the poof. <laughs> the, the one that made me laugh was the rabbit that was jumping across the highway when I'm doing 60. And you could just see it. It was like bad slow-mo. But you could see this hop, 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 and then it hit the, the passenger side corner of the fender. Poof! <laughs> I'm like looking in the back room here. I'm laughing my ass off. I'm like, it's not funny, but it is. What's really funny is when I see somebody who's fucking wrecked their car because they tried to swerve for a squirrel or something. Dude, Fuck no. That. Hit it. Mm-mm. Not, I'm, I'm team people, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> not, not for a tree rat. I ain't swerving. Uh-uh. No fucking way. You better be a person. <laughs> It's going to be an apology. <laughs> Can he be hit a pheasant that got stuck to his window? <laughs> yeah, in the window. Because the, the beak will penetrate. They'll just... Like a fucking lawn dart. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bird torpedo coming in. Oh, shit. Those are the worst, too. Because they'll just... The engine noise when you get close will ruffle them up, and then they'll just right like four feet across the highway. Yeah, actually, I had something crazy like that. Fucking, I'm driving down uh, this old fucking country or about three hours north of here, and I had a fucking it was, it was a fucking pheasant, and oh no, not a pheasant. It was a fucking grouse. Fucking kicked up a grouse with my truck, and it flew in the fucking car window and hit me in the head. And fucking sat on the seat next to me looking at me like, oh, are you going to fucking see me? Yes, I fucking see you, dude. Get the fuck out. <laughs> instant, instant buddy. Yeah. 
<laughs> Where are we going? He just wanted to sit down and chill for a bit. <laughs> I mean, I've, had, I've had bugs fly in the window oh, and fucking hit me like a beetle or something. Sting is like a son of a bitch. A bird? That left a fucking mark. <laughs> oh, shit. He's a good looking bird, too. I'm surprised they didn't fucking kill it because I was doing like 45 when it flew in the window. I don't know how it managed to make it in the window without catching the fucking edge of the truck and all. Yeah, I, get, I still remember when I had the. My daughter seen this dead bird on the sidewalk next to a building, and she's like, Oh, how how you think that happened? And I'm like, I look up, and there's a little splat mark on one of the, the glass up above. I'm like, you see that little mark? They thought it could fly right through that window. She's like, why do they do that? I, I don't know. They, the glass is clean. No, why do they have a window there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids' minds are fucking excellent. <laughs> It was that building spot that the bird died. <laughs> okay. So you import that's some scary shit talking about deers and shit going through windows. They had a guy up here a couple of years ago where a fucking deer jumped right before he hit him and he fucking came through and decapitated the guy. Some beach. Wow. Yeah. That's some scary shit. Point. I wonder how much chat I've missed, because I've had top chat on this whole time. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I've had yellow up almost the entire fucking... episode. I hate that that's even an option. That is the stupidest shit in the world. Do you know why they did that? They did that first, and then they came out with the whole, if you have over 100,000 subscribers, you can turn on the donate button. Where it's kind of like Patreon, where you can donate two ninety nine or three ninety nine or four ninety nine per month, and then you are in that top chat. You also have access to special emojis and symbols by your name. That's right. It's full Twitch. Chat. They're trying to compete with Patreon, keeping the money all inside Google's house. They're twitching it up. Like you can you can subscribe specifically to channels with memberships now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what I would do if for people that had a paid membership. Like, I'd just have to sit here, like, mix and topless. Like, that's all I have to offer. You have to make one of those videos, like that's the redhead. Like, I'm getting pasties. I'm getting smiley face pasties, y'all. <laughs> what did I do with my Sharpie? <laughs> so next person donates $1,000, gets the name Sharpie across my forehead for the week. It's, oh, dude, totally. A thousand bucks, yeah. I work right here. Where do you want it, sunshine? <laughs> Grape Crush is my new crack. Ugh. <laughs> this shit gives me, like, heartburn. Yeah, what you need is some candy. vanilla ice cream. You need some vanilla ice cream poured over the top. Like a purple cow. Mm. I'd be down with that. You make Green River floats with like Green River soda. It's pretty tasty. I can see it with the grape. Oh, Gizzard is now dry. He's I'm dry now. <laughs> he's Good. sat there long enough that he's dry. Jesus Christ! And don't you want a towel? You didn't have to sit there and drip dry. It's like I like to air dry. That's how he rolls. <laughs> Sorry, I air dry. I don't put any clothes unless I have to. Bare feet all day. <laughs> well, the towels I have, they're not soft enough for my delicate skin. <laughs> <laughs> that poor chair. <laughs> oh, Kenny says any pop with ice cream is good. There we go. That's a good way to start an argument. Is it pop or is it soda? soda. Or is it cold? Uh, Fucking pop, yes. soda. See, I, said pop, I said pop growing up, and now I say soda because I lived in the Midwest too long. See, I grew up here in the Midwest and used to say pop when I was a kid, but for some reason it shifted at some time, and I say soda. I don't know. But when you go into the grocery store, 
and those little things above the aisle. What does it say? Soda. Beverages. <laughs> it still does. Fucking that guy. <laughs> Beverages. <laughs> See, I still say both of them. It just depends on how much of that lettuce I've had. If I'm if I'm like balls deep in Satan's salad, then I'll call them both. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Soda pop. So deep. I think that may be the first time I've ever heard somebody say balls deep in Satan's salad in the same sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you know, typical Wednesday around here. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go balls deep, but I might go third knuckle deep. Now, now church brings up a good fact. That some places it's called a coke. Yep, that was that's, they'll that's come to the, they'll come to the table and they go, um, you want a coke? Yeah. Well, what kind like, do you what want? Kind of coke? Yeah. Uh, I remember the first time Pepsi. that happened to me. I'm like, there's more than one kind of coke. What? Is that kind of like all they, all they have is Pepsi products, but they still call it a coke. Yeah. Yep. All, t- all tissues are Kleenex. Can I, have a, can I have a Mountain Coke? <laughs> mountain Coke. <laughs> If you caught me when I was still in the service, I was drinking Mountain Coke all day, every day. (laughs) (laughs) Lumi, that is true. (laughs) Paul's around the (laughs) because he needs a dryer. Jesus Christ. I do like I do like the Coke one though. That one did throw me for a loop because I remember the first time he said, "Do you want a Coke?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'd love a Coke." What the fuck Coke. throws you a Mountain Dew? No, I told him, "Yeah, I'll take a Coke." Well, what kind? A Coke. Well, we don't have Coke. We don't have Coke. Oh, yeah. Then why did you just ask me if I wanted a fucking Coke? Go get me a Coke. I want a fucking liter of cola. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn large barba. <laughs> Chicken fucker. <laughs> License and registration. Chicken fucker. Nice. Now we're good. Uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Still going, everybody. Still going. Just wait. All you guys get into this stuff. Yeah. We're gonna. Next thing you know. Ball deep in everything. Balls deep. I call this one the attack of the cotton. Ah! <laughs> one of them went right in your mouth, dude. Don't breathe heavily. Don't breathe heavily. <laughs> it gets scary. That stuff causes cancer in California. Can't do it. Yep. So there's warning labels on cotton balls. Everything causes cancer if you inject it in your skin and don't take it out. Well, the good news is... Oh, shit, the mutate. The, the good news is it only causes cancer if you're in California. So if you're out of California, you can do whatever in the fuck you want. Don't cause cancer. And I can say that was the weirdest fucking thing. When I saw that on 2 by 4 I'm going, why is it only to the state of California? Everything is... Everyone else uses logic. I want to know what crackpot scientist they hired to say, yes, put this on a label. And the worst part is, is that probably guy guy made more fucking money in one year than I'll probably make in the next 10. Yeah. Just think of the label companies. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, and they're probably all based out of um, California. And probably on all of their machinery, they have a warning label that says that this is known to cause cancer as well. But did they they print the label there, or did they have to buy oh, the it was probably the label a, already on it? It's probably a third party company, and then on the back of it, as you're peeling it off from that third party company, it says this label from the state of California is known to cause cancer. <laughs> I wonder if toilet paper causes cancer in California because everybody would be fucked. Ooh, why have I not smelled this flavor before? This label is known to cause cancer. And you just touched it. <laughs> Doomed to butt cancer because your toilet paper causes cancer. I think like stuff like this would be awesome if they had like some smart ass remark at the end. Yeah, like some random smart smart ass remark. <laughs> it's like nicotine is an addictive chemical. You dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what if they it shouldn't them? be it shouldn't be addictive it should be this this chemical can cause you to become dependent yeah what they should put on there is just a little picture of red foreman below it so everybody knows that he's just saying dumbass dumbass <laughs> I think it'd be cool to just have a random word at the end of it just so people could try to figure out what what that word has to do with the rest of it like chrysanthemum yeah <laughs> like rickshaw <laughs> i don't know why that was the first word that came to my head <laughs> rickshaw is good though i like rickshaw <laughs> oh the irony <laughs> Looks like it's gonna start raining. It wow. rained like crazy here today. This one's gonna be the. Uh, we need the fucking rain. We haven't had it in a couple weeks. My mom looks like it's fucking burnt right now. Less mowing. Yeah, it's not growing. It, Ours is a little crispy. It, it, this is true. Less mowing, but it still looks like shit. And I'm not gonna fucking water my lawn to fucking pay the goddamn water bill rates around here. <laughs> Spray paint works too. <laughs> Ooh, good call. You know, fuck it. Maybe I'll just buy AstroTurf. Yeah, sell my lawnmower. Fuck it. I want. I want to rip up all my grass and just put like those nice soft river rock pebbles. Oh yeah. Walk out there and get a foot massage walking around the yard. It's a good idea, except for my kid was fucking just picking them up and throwing them at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, Dad, come outside. Oh, fuck. Crafty little bastards. <laughs> crafty little bastards. You crafty little son of a bitch. <laughs> that makes me think of fucking, when I was growing up, I think I was 10 or 11 years old. And me and my old man and my sisters and shit, we were all up in, up, up towards the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, snowmobiling, staying in the old shack. And when I say shack, it's this little two room fucking cabin where you got a kitchen and living room in the same area with the pot belly stove and in the back you got two fucking bunk beds so we're fucking there and I'm standing outside and my old man's gotta go out to fucking use the outhouse cause it was this kind of shack there's an outhouse not a fucking toilet and I'm Jeez. fucking waiting hiding behind a fucking tree with a big old snowball fucking <laughs> whip it at him fucking smack right in the <laughs> fucking face I've never had my head held in a snowbank for so long in my entire fucking life. <laughs> Jeez. Awesome. He was not a happy camper. Can't imagine why. <laughs> Apparently I had a decent arm at fucking 10, 11 years old. <laughs> I thought the meteor shower was over the weekend. I thought so too. Is it still going? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think tonight is the last night of it as it clears out. Uh, like it was supposed to like start Monday and then like peak yesterday and then like trail off tonight. Hey, I don't watch the yep. shit. I'm sleeping by the time all that shit starts. So is tonight the night that they drink the Kool Aid and try to catch the shit? That's the that comedy, yeah, I, think so. mm -hmm. I think that's how that works. Like the first night is the prayer and the, the ohms, and then the second night is like the making sure your robes are clean and your Nikes are all like polished and shit. And... Mothership is coming. Yep. And then tonight is like Kool Aid Central, like it's like a high school dance basically, and then at midnight Kool Aid time. It says, yeah, fuck the sun. I hate it too. Right. <laughs> that was funny. I did read something about they're trying to shoot a probe into the sun. They did. It launched. Oh, yeah. they did. It's going. It's going to orbit the closest any probe ever has. Yeah. That's what we need our mods made out of that material. Because if it's that heat resistant, we need that. Apparently, it's supposed to be coated in some new shit that they've been like top secret NASAing up. But with all like the crazy fucking gigantic solar flares that have been going on lately, they're like thinking it might be a good time to get a better fucking look at the giant nuclear reactor that lives down the road from us. Yeah. Can we shoot garbage into you? <laughs> Can we make you brighter? <laughs> I mean, John, get uh, Hunter S. Thompson's ashes sent straight into the sun, so 
you know, maybe they're just watching to see what happens when that shit gets there. Because holy <laughs> fuck. That dude, he was a crazy motherfucker. Hell yeah. Uh, I love the stories that you can read about Johnny Depp staying there. studying. <laughs> Yeah. He's like sitting down. He's down in the basement. He's like, there's fighters down here that will kill me. I'm sitting down here reading lines, trying to get in character, having a cigarette, and I'm I'm ashing into the cigarette tray, the ashtray where he went and hit it, and then he picks it up to dump it out, and he sees on the thing that he had it. It's a keg of black powder. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Ow. <laughs> he's like, you had me ashed out of it. He's like, yeah, but you didn't read it. <laughs> so did you die? <laughs> it's only unsafe die? if you read it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, Kenny B, I've heard about that. I just don't think I could do that. I could not make, I couldn't do Burning Man. That's... Yeah, I have friends who've gone, they said it was insane. <laughs> yeah. Not my thing. I'm... Not I my kind done. of thing. Nope. Me either. I haven't, but I seen a video where a guy was burning the entire video running. It was like a long music video, but wow. He couldn't do it. I, I got a buddy from high school. He's into that kind of thing and he goes every fucking year and I constantly see pictures. I go, Nope. Not bigger than squirrel shit. I couldn't do it. <laughs> something about Burning Man that's just so much more weird than any like normal music festival well because it's not even a fucking musical festival like it's a bunch of fucking DJs out there in the, right. in the desert in the city yeah they build the big fucking art installations that they're gonna fucking burn down at the end of the fucking week yeah well the good thing about Burning Man though if you ever go is the guys who do the fucking cleanup details like because people at the end of burning man like it's notorious like they just leave everything there of and course. people will literally come they give them like a five or ten day fucking notification because it's on like public ground out in the middle of the desert and then people will come with trailers and bring home thousands and thousands of tents and bicycles and shit that people literally bought brand new brought to burning man and fucking left there hmm. like there are people that make their living just cleaning up after the morons that go to Burning Man every fucking year. Yeah, it's like dumpster diving, but like yeah. it's like it's like one place is like the, the yeah. fucking I, honey pot. I read an article on that. It, it's gotten so big over the last fucking decade that they now have. Well, it's there for that two weeks or whatever it is. They have their own post office. <laughs> they have individual postal codes depending on where you're at there. Are you fucking shitting me? It's it's a pop up city in the desert for a week or two weeks or whatever the fuck it is, really. Yeah. You, you guys want to be nomads in the desert? Be nomads in the desert, but fuck. Kenny B says there's titties. I'm there. Let's go. Oh, Lots of titties. I can only What's imagine. Up, yeah, but they're only really good on the first night because after that, then they're all dust coated and Mad Maxy and shit. And it's like it gets weird by the end of it. <laughs> so they get a protective coating. <laughs> <laughs> it's one way to look at it. Natural sunblock. <laughs> Blocking everything. Body paint? We don't need no body paint. We've got desert dust. Right. Lumi, you already have them. <laughs> so the biggest thing it blocks is cock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're out at Burning Man, you're generally on enough pharmaceutical variety chemicals that I don't think that dust is going to block much. <laughs> nope. Touche, Lumi. Touche. There's not very many, not very many flavors that you mix up and like you mix it at 0.1% and you're just already terrified of it just by the smell. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, one that's fucking strong is the nectarine from Flavora. That son yeah. of a bitch will take over quick. Yeah, you got to use that shit at like quarter percent. 
Otherwise, I used it at like a it half a percent. Me. Way too much. Way too much. And it's it's not it's not good. Like it's it's fucking weird at like it half is. a percent. It's not it's not a good flavor. But if you use it super low, you're like, oh, that's really nice. It's like a nasty fucking tic tac. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. I I run 800 milliliters with that half a percent. Cool. Mm. It's a good way to ruin a whole lot of shit. I think this stuff's super concentrated too. Uh, I'm pretty used to most of the TFA stuff. I'm not nowhere near used to fucking anything Flavora. That stuff's a whole different, whole different league as far as being concentrated. Yeah, they can be dangerous. <laughs> I don't have too many flavor flavors. I know you have them all. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, like the ones I do have, like. Yeah, anything over like 1% for most of them. It's like overkill. Yeah, I got I, I wanna I wanna mess with around with the flavor stuff more, but I'm fucking scared of it after that. Yeah, like whole fuck. Don't be don't be scared of flavor. Flavor is wonderful. I'm not saying it's like it just that's that's crazy to put half a percent and then whew. Oh, try the Alpine Spritz Strawberry. Break that fucker out. See what happens to you. I've used the Alpine Strawberry, and I don't like the funk that that has with it. <laughs> the funky strawberry. Like I don't know what the hell what the hell it is. It is. I can't really explain it, but there's something about that strawberry. I absolutely love anything strawberry, but that Alpine Strawberry. At first, I was like, "Yeah, it's not so bad." And about an hour into it, I was like, "Oh, this ain't good." It's got an like, earthiness. Like there's something. Yeah, there's something in it. I don't know. Isn't that one like one drop per 60 or 30 or something? It's like super strong, right? <laughs> yeah, that one's uh it's like one it's a quarter percent is a lot. Okay. <laughs> I should have put like you can do it at a quarter percent, but it's you get some stems in there. Like, yeah. What did you have it at, Jesse? Where were you where were you rolling? I don't remember. I was just kidding. I said I shouldn't have had it at two, but I don't remember what I mixed it at. Probably way too fucking much. Probably better part of a percent. Yeah, you need to take it way down. Like a take, try, try, take it down to a quarter percent and single flavor test it, Jesse. See how you feel about it. I, I'll, I'll have to try that. I mean, I I want to naturally like anything stra that that has the word strawberry in it. So, I mean, it's a good. It's a good. It's a good, uh, it's a good strawberry for what it is, but it's got earth. It's earthy. It's earthy. <laughs> I could see it being something that you would definitely want to add to like an, another mix, not like base the mix around it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's one of those ones that, that, uh, strawberry mute people that they can taste. Hmm. I have that problem. You're a strawberry mute. You may need the alpine strawberry. I'm yeah. like a little strawberry disabled. I don't know if I'm a completely mute because I can, can taste. You, can you taste know. shisha? Absolutely. Yeah, then you're. You're no, not. I, a use, I use it pretty. I use it pretty high though. Like I use it like two to three percent. You're not concrete river then. Concrete river at two three percent. He wouldn't know that there was anything in there. Jeez. And then I usually. Oh. You know, I'm using it at two. I'll throw like something else too, like some jungle flavors. There's sweet strawberry, and then like. Uh, the uh, the flavor art one, the one that has a weird name. Red Touch. No. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> red Touch. The Red Touch is wonderful. Yeah. Now it's just strawberry, right? It, they, they don't call it. Red Some touch. stores still call it Red Touch, I think. A lot of them are still calling it Red Touch. Yeah. I think my ECX bottle says Red Touch on it. I like that stuff. It's good. That's a really good strawberry. That's one of the strawberries that go in my current river. Slowly but surely, he keeps giving ingredients away. After I asked him specifically, I, I, I didn't even ask you. I didn't even ask you what was in it. I just I need to go. I didn't ask you percentages. I asked you, hey, what's in it? Well, I said it was a, a strawberry, black currant, Greek yogurt to begin with. Hmm. Yeah, but that didn't tell him what was in it. I'm getting ideas now. It, yes, it did. It's strawberry, black currant, 
Great kill gear. And I said there was a couple different stars. Are we really going to go down this road again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I will never vape Current River. I don't. You really should just send him a bottle, just so that way he can watch him dump it all live. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. It's a waste. I, I can vape that shit. I'll, poo, I'll take a poo on it live on the air. <laughs> Is it that bad? Uh, man, this stuff. That stuff. That stuff. Now I'm onto the taros. Ooh. Evidently, I just got my package licked. Somebody's licking your package? Mm hmm. Hell yeah. There's a whole list of comments to be made there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, those I'm ones are way too easy, so it's not even worth it. All right. I'm going to step back for a minute and hang out with my friends. I'm tired. I'm tired of mixing. <laughs> this is not stuff that I want to mix. <laughs> Come back to us fresh. Well, you did make it right in time for us to fucking get the hell out of here, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Randall Hayes made uh, Old School. Loved it. Nice. Yeah, old school is really good. Three ingredients. You shake it up. You go out the door. You've got a rich, creamy vanilla custard with a hint of cookie all day. Three ingredients. What, like 5%, 5.2%, something like that? You're done. Yep. Um, this PG. one I am going to knock out of the park. Lumi, if you're easy, you know you don't stay married very long that way, right? I'm just saying. Hasn't she been happily married for a while? Yeah, she's happy. She is happily married. I, I was gonna say she's been married for quite a while too, right? Must be on one of them open-ended relationships if she's easy. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the easy she was talking about. Are you sure she was just talking about licking your fucking package? Well, I put my hand in her box. Exactly my point. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Like Adam's just kind of sitting here, like, yeah, okay. I can dig, I can get down with where this show's going. Yep. <laughs> this ain't super easy. Hand in her box. She's been licking your package. Not she's just that. getting warmed up for. She's just getting warmed up for the next uh, session of eye contact from Fresh from the Kitchen. We had oh, a great, that eye contact. Yeah. Louis, we had a great I didn't eye say, contact session on Monday. I didn't say whom it was you were easy to. But easy, it doesn't matter how easy it is. Easy is easy. It's like that big red fucking easy button. Well, she was she was getting the nurse vapes all creamy, and <laughs> Zesty had his long arms out, and he was just he was just rubbing and touching everybody in the room. Poor Mister Burgundy just came in for a shoulder massage, and next thing you know, he like nurse vape had attacked him and squirted uh, VG up his butthole and was jerking him off or something. <laughs> there was all sorts. Of <laughs> well, okay. At least, uh, at least, she, at least he got the courtesy of a reach round. If that's the case, exactly. Poor Mister Burgundy, though. <laughs> like he just like I was sitting there saying how inappropriate it all was. This week's show is going out with a bang. That it is. Well, by the it sounds bang. of it, it is on more than one road there. Oh, fresh from the kitchen's a hell of a time. Oh like, yeah. Come for come for the come for the information. Stay for the eye contact. Well, no, let's take this fucker around the room and look at the geese and get the flock out of here. Oh man, now I gotta start mixing again. Why you gotta do that? Well, you know, let's get so I gotta get this. I gotta get this done before I go to bed. I have to. Oh, well, that's alright. That just means you're gonna have to do it here in a minute. <laughs> here, Mister Box Toucher, why don't you go first? Thanks for having me. Thanks, 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 thanks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay so like every other every other week it's still 30 percent off until midnight central time using coupon code golf t on standup3d.com and go get some adore go get some armageddon 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 there we go you don't want to miss a thing
Yeah. I, that's, I, oh. I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> See, the next one, I got to charge you. And this, and this oh, who, who did it? Who did it? That was me. That Adam? Yeah, uh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Because if you if somebody else didn't do it, I was gonna do it. <laughs> next time, I was gonna do karaoke. I that's why. That's why. It. That's why I, I, I I am slowly falling for Adam. You know, like, oh. like me and me and Adam. Oh, and G was here to watch you fuck that up. Witness. <laughs> I didn't mean to fuck it up. I swear to. I swear. If he paid me more, I wouldn't be fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, kids, this is what happens when you catch Jesse off guard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so on that note, I'm not going to embarrass him any further. Um, although I will, I'm going to send it over to Carpool Karaoke uh, Adam over there because that was glorious. <laughs> it was. It was perfect. Thank you. Thank you. As always, thanks for having me, TJ. It's always a freaking blast. Couldn't think of another way to spend my Wednesday nights than chilling with a bunch of guys who quit smoking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we all come from different parts of the country. We all would never have met, you know, except for that one common bond. Except for, to be fair, TJ and Fresher Battles, so technically that doesn't count. But bond grows stronger, I believe. So, uh, yeah, so thanks for having me. Uh, Check out Eddie and the Arsons, the band. Uh, we actually got shouted out on the uh, uh, WGN News yesterday uh, during their midday news. Um, our drummer's uh, mom is a producer for the news and somehow got them to play our song before they went to commercial right after a feature on Aretha Franklin. So that was kind of a big deal. That's awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. And we're getting bigger shows. So, yeah, check us out, you know, and... Uh, other than that, uh, so go check out Fresh's channel and learn how to mix because you may have to if you want some tasty flavors. And it's always a good thing to know. It's it'll save you some money, you know. End up having a nice little skill too. Go buy True. some shit. Go buy some shit from Jesse right now. He's got a kick ass deal going on. Go subscribe to the meter. Go watch his shit. Check out his grams. Post some cool shit. Check out Mr. Leaf of Vapes. He's always posting awesome reviews and awesome videos and vaping your face off is always a blast. And uh, keep tuning in every Wednesday. Thanks, TJ. Thank you, sir. Let's head on over to Leaf Um, What Adam said, um, plus uh, gone over to the pink pussy list and find great little coupon codes. Obviously, they're going to be Pink Pussy, The Door, uh, Coil Vapes, um, lots of other places. What we got? Oh, we got uh, the newest one. I can't forget them. Him, Vinyl and Vapor. Go over him. Uh, I know last week, code wasn't working. He fixed it. Uh, he can't keep it on indefinite, but it's Pink Pussy List 20. Gets you 20% off on this. And I would say... Uh, go get that cycle. And I guess everybody's saying it wrong. It's crueler. So I, I thought it was crueler. I've always I, heard I'm, crueler. I, I think it's a it's a it's a playback on a song about being crueler. Either okay. way, it's awesome stuff. Uh, you you should check it out uh, if you like a nice uh, pastry custody caramelly vape. Check that one out. So, really good. Uh, thanks again, uh, TJ. And uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow I'll have uh, another vape break tomorrow, and uh, we'll do chat gets invited to vape your face off if you're there. Awesome. Yeah, no one send it over to Fresh 03. What's happening, everybody? I'm sorry I've been quiet. I am behind on the things that I need to be doing. So, I've been sitting here in this chair since I got home from work. Um, just working, just working slowly, but surely I'm getting caught up. I've got two things left to do here to mix up and then I'll be done. So keep your eye on my channel. Keep your, uh, for the Friday show, the Friday show is going to be awesome. That's all I'm going to say about it. It is going to be an amazing show. Check it out, everybody. Um, tell your friends, tell your friends. They're not going to want to miss this one. 
uh saturday we're doing diy monday we're doing diy uh monday there's going to be a, a super uh check out it's going to be a really cool episode of noted over on diy or die so check out the episode of noted monday it's going to be really 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 cool so i can't say too much more but it's going to be i think everybody will dig it um check out everybody on the panel check out all the people that aren't here check out uh old spork life mr gizzard stew himself uh, if you want to see a man peeing through a tube into a lake off of off the side of his boat while he's supposed to be fishing. Uh, go get some uh, Addy's yogurt, 10% of proceeds, or 100%. Why do I keep wanting to say 10% of proceeds? Because it's proceeds now. 100% of the proceeds from uh, Addy's yogurt go to notblowingsmoke.org. If you go over to the Freaky Fresh Friends section over at vapingswag.com. You can get uh, some sweet shirts. Uh, you probably can't get this one in the Freaky Fresh Friends section anymore. This Spork Life shirt, he's doing his own thing. Uh, Gizzard's got his own brand going. But the rest of the Freaky Fresh Friends section, all of us all of us cool people here on the panel that have t-shirts over at Vaping Swag, 100% uh, of the proceeds goes to notblowingsmoke.org. In case you couldn't tell, we kind of like those guys. So... Uh, go donate to notblowingsmoke.org. Go give uh, NorCal Sick Boys new Instagram account a follow. Uh, it's Educate Advocate Decimate. Go check him out on Instagram. Um, his account got deleted for some reason. Big time advocacy guy. He was doing some. He was doing a really cool series of videos on his Instagram today. So uh, well worth a follow. That's all I got, everybody. Be beautiful to each other. Educate advocate. Be beautiful to each other. Uh, Back to TJ at the mixing desk because I'm at a mixing desk. So somebody else has to be at one too. I'm at the mixing desk tonight. All right. No poopy pants desk for this guy. You'll get right back in your poopy pants next week. Next week. So you guys will see me at the poopy pants desk next week. No, to self, I'm getting demoted again. Damn it. <laughs> Should not have had that extra beer before PT. <laughs> Running through the woods, <clears throat> stopping somewhere. <laughs> up and somewhere huh. yeah first and foremost as always thank you all for coming out do appreciate it love each and every one of you hanging out with us fucking awesome everybody on the panel thanks for showing up again love you guys you guys are awesome uh, you guys know the drill um to cover the big topic right there the pink pussy list.com you guys know anybody that is on that list you are going to get some sort of discount Make sure you're going and checking it out. And don't forget the and list at the end. Because if you don't put those in there, you're going to get into some weird places that you're probably not going to expect. It's not a bad thing. It might not be a bad thing. I mean, unless you're at work. Then you really got to worry. It might put you in a bad place. Yeah, it, it could put you in a bad place, like the unemployment line. I'm just saying. Uh, um, so you guys know the drill. Um, as always, go check out John over at Adoree Liquid. Go fill your carts with little purple hearts. She does way more for this community than anybody will ever know. So make sure we're giving her all the support that's necessary. That also goes the same for G over at Omegadden. So go hit up omegaddenyliquid.com as well. While you're over there, check out the duck pond liquids that are on that site. Because, man, that freak show, though. Mm, that, that's, that's my go-to over there on the duck pond side. And that... um. There may be some Darwinism things coming to his labelings, so pay attention for that. If you do see that come out, you'll know why, because you were here tonight. Um, also, check out Coil Vapes and anybody else who I missed off of that pinkpussylist.com. And that includes Vaping Swag. Yeah, they do have these shirts over there. The Got Spork shirt. I also have anybody else on the Freaky Fresh Friends section over there. T-shirts. Um, for those of you who are classy, um, myself and Meter both have um, a nice collared variety shirt that you can wear to work. I'm just saying. And they're, they're a wonderful uh, way to support advocacy and have something you can wear in public that looks nice. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot to say other than with all that's going on currently, the only thing that I ask is that you continue to educate and advocate. Because remember, it's not for us. It's not for anybody out here. It's always for that person who comes behind us because they haven't made that switch from the thinkies yet. 
we need to keep this alive for them. And that includes all of these flavor bands that are going into play. So we do have to make sure that we are fighting most definitely at the local level. Because if you haven't noticed, that's where all of this is taking place right now, is at the local level. The big nicotine label thing, that was going to happen. Nothing we could do about that. That that one we knew, we had to have known that was going to come down from federal at some point, that they're going to have to have a warning label. No big deal. But those flavor bands, that's what got, I would venture to guess, every one of us to switch to vaping, that safer alternative, from those cancer sticks. The nails in the coffin. So we need to keep the flavors alive, so just do your part, please. Whether it's just educating someone, um, talking about advocacy to somebody who doesn't know, uh, telling them to go follow Not Blowing Smoke. Cause, uh, also, um, there was something I did get in my email the other day. Uh, Aaron Bieber uh, sent out a thing from the Billion Lives movie email address. They are working on something new. Uh, I if you were getting emails from them at some point, check your email box. I think it came uh, last week sometime. And they were asking for ideas on the next project because they were going to go on to something else. But he realized that it wasn't. He didn't feel that it was enough for what they had done making a billion lives. So they're going to do something else with it. Um, not necessarily directly at vaping, but in the same line that's going to try to help us out there. So pay attention to that as well. Um, so make sure you're following Aaron Bieber because he's done great things for the community already and it looks like he's going to continue to do so. Um, just a little tidbit of information in case somebody has missed that there. But most definitely pay attention on your local levels because that's where the big fight's happening right now is on your local levels. Other than that, I don't have anything else to say. Um, my name's TJ. I'll see you guys all next week. So we're going to pass it over to the guy that can only take us out the way he can. The one, the only, the meter vapes. No, I'm <laughs> First and foremost, TJ, thank you again, as with every Wednesday, for having me. I look forward more than anything in my day during Wednesdays to having this panel full of lunatics and this crowd full of psychos that are here every week to help me get my mind back to a place where I can just function normally without having clogged up bullshit, just blocking it out. Cause I know that it's going to get washed out here. Everything's just going to go. So thank you for having the show. Thank you all for participating. You guys are the reason that we do this support the people that support us if there's a person in this community that's doing something for someone else give them praise give them money if you can support the people that support the community because some dick named durbin is trying to take our damn flavors away so it's time for every vapor to give another vapor a shout get your fellow vapors along we have to unite there is no more time to waste it's time to care we have to band together or be banned together there is no alternative thank you sir Thank you, Meter. Titties there. We appreciate that. <laughs> I know what was that. Park these titties in the um, industry, baby. Also, um, before we get off the air, I did see ID did pop into the room here late. Um, welcome and goodbye, ID. It was good to see you. ID Bogdan. And, yep. And I do want to say I hate looking at your fucking Instagram because it makes me jealous that I cannot afford the shit that you post up there. Other than that, I do love what you post, though. I still hate you though. At the same time, it's a love hate relationship I've got going with you that you didn't, you may or may not have known about. Anyhow, who wants to take us out tonight? Since um, we have a dried off uh, spork life, but he decided not to pop in now that he's dry. Hmm. No, he's still naked. Bueller, still... Bueller. Oh, that's in that case. Talk to you, bro. I will do it myself then. As you go through your week. Try to advocate, if at all possible, and get off your butts and vape. 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 Get off your butts and vape.